So in this video, I just want to flip that on its head and start by saying um, the other side of the coin is to open up the front half of the court to access the back half of the court. Now, particularly if you're getting into maybe a length game battle with someone, if you've got two quite traditional attritional players, it's just worth noting that the front half of the court is accessible in those situations. And it's, I guess, like we've talked about before, it's not getting too reactive. It's basically being able to open up your mind, create calmness, have clear thinking, have clarity. And if you get that feel of, I'm just playing a length court, a length game here, I'm, I'm not able to access the front half of the court, how can you then go about that? And a lot of that comes from getting up on the tee, getting up on the volley, and trying to create that length in the court, making sure that when you are up on the tee, you just sit that ball in. And we're not almost looking for winners a lot of the time, just looking for a ball that sits into the front of the court so that your opponent has to defend on that for you to basically open up that space at the back. The length court hitting is so important in squash, but it becomes completely ineffective if you're not accessing the front of the court. Your opponent's tee position gets pushed back. They don't have to cover the front of the court. And basically your length has to be a dying length to get any sort of winners. The only way that you can access winners at the back of the court is by making sure that you have the threat at the front of the court by playing the ball into the front half of the court. You make your opponent's tee position come up higher. You make them stay honest on the tee. And then when you hopefully put a ball in that gets them under pressure, you're either on the volley to follow up the next one and put them back in short, or you're able to access that back of the court for a fading length. And again, they're covering the diagonal from the furthest front corner to the furthest back corner. And that for any player on tour is one of the hardest movements to do out of the front corners. So it's just about making sure you have that clarity, clearness of mind to really be able to see where the space is on the court, to put the ball in short and then be able to hammer the ball into the back and make your opponent cover a huge amount of space.